So we've got another projector we're looking at, this time the K7 by Wimius. It has native 1080p resolution, but also supports 4K resolution, 500 ANZ lumens. It's gonna work on a screen from 50 all the way up to 500 inches, which is actually pretty large. Most of my other projectors say 300 inches, 50,000 to one contrast, also has 6D auto keystone correction, dual band Wi-Fi, so you have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Also has Bluetooth 5.1, Definitely a little more unique than some of the others. This one comes inside of a backpack versus a travel case. Really nice padding on the backpack as well. Cleaning supplies, a little Phillips screwdriver, power cable, audio video adapter, HDMI cable is included, cleaning cloth, user manual, Pretty typical small remote control. You can see right there in the middle is your 6D auto keystone correction. Then you have volume control, mute, next and previous, and then home, source button, directional arrows, and of course your power. Okay, nice matte plastic finish here. Here on the top, you can see they've got the auto 6D keystone correction instructions. Then silicone buttons here on the top, directional arrows, okay button, power, and refresh. You've got a lens cap here on the front and your remote control sensor. So pretty simple design here on the front. Underneath each foot here on the bottom, you've got some threads if you want to mount this to a ceiling. And then you've got your adjustable foot here on the bottom as well. You get your manual adjustment here for the lens and keystone adjustment as well. It looks like you've got a replaceable filter here on the side. Ventilation on the opposite side. All your ports are here on the back. You've got two USB ports, headphone jack, audio video jack. You've got your remote control sensor and two HDMI ports as well. And then towards the bottom is where you plug in the power. Once you get the projector hooked up, you can see it's got a pretty simple home screen with shortcuts to screen mirroring, HDMI one and two, audio video settings, movie, music, photo, and text. You can also adjust the keystone correction manually there on the side to get it close and then go into picture settings to adjust four point correction or horizontal and vertical adjustments as well. I tried out the 6D keystone correction and I'm not sure if I'm sold on that. It does seem to work okay it just feels like it's easier to go into the settings and do it manually but of course that's going to be a personal preference you can even rotate the screen to about 30 degrees although i can't imagine that i would use that maybe some people would then you've also got infinity zoom and correction reset you also have different sound modes on here balance and surround sound then you have clock sleep timer bluetooth settings factory reset and software update through usb the built-in speaker does sound pretty good on here here. Seems like it's plenty loud enough for a medium sized room. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. You will probably hear some fan noise in the background, but not bad in person. Doesn't seem like it's too loud once you start playing games or watching stuff on here. You've also got the Lenovo Tab P12 Pro, even though I did review that back in December of 2021, it was close enough to include in here as well. Then if you're looking for a more affordable option, but still has a good display, I feel like Lenovo has some nice options like the P11 Pro, Gen 2, and the Tab M10 Plus, third generation. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away. It also gives you instructions on how to use iOS cast, Miracast, iOS cable cast, and DLNA. I tried to show you here what it looks like with all the lights turned on, and actually it looks pretty good in person. Plenty bright enough if you had to use it that way, but it will look much better once all the lights are turned off. One thing I did notice is with some projectors, you get the image in focus towards the middle, but then towards the edges or corners, it can be a little out of focus, especially with projectors that are only 
only manual focus. And this one tends to have a little bit of that. Not bad though, compared to others I've tested. That's also gonna depend on what angle you have the projector at, and there's other variables. But overall, I think the image quality is pretty good, especially considering the price. You can also use this projector for presentations, since text looks nice and sharp on here. And you can even play mobile games right from your tablet, iPad, phone on here as well. They're saying you can use this one outdoors. And yeah, it looks like this one would be bright enough to use this outdoors at nighttime. And then when playing Rocket League, the picture quality is nice and bright, nice contrast, and fairly smooth as far as how it looks. But I did notice some lag or slow reaction while playing. I normally play on PC, so going back to my Xbox using this projector could make it feel that way. But it's probably going to depend on what types of games you're playing and how good your internet connection is. So this projector from Wimius looks like a pretty solid option if you need to buy one as a gift, add to your theater room, or you just want to add this to your game room, or if you just want a more affordable projector. I kind of wish they would add autofocus on here, but other than that, it has some nice features and quality for the price. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.